Poorly designed fuel system and fuel contamination are the leading cause of a loss of engine power that can result in a forced landing. There are only a few ways to design a fuel system correctly and many ways to get it wrong. It shows a impulse fuel pump that is actuated by crankcase pressure pulses and a fuel filter before the carburetors. What this fuel system diagram doesn't show you are if the pressure drop across the filter becomes too great, the fuel pump can cavitate. The round pump is for dual carbureted engine and the square pump is for single carbureted engine as this was an option on the Rotax 503 and the 447. Also, some commercial clips may not tighten well on small pipes as they tend to tighten up oval. The failure usually occurs because one of the valves in the primer bulb becomes dislodged and blocks the fuel line. These primer bulbs are supposed to be installed horizontally. Our next video will cover how to test your fuel system to ensure proper and safe operation. Thank you for watching. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to all our social media sites. If you want to receive critical safety information on your Rotax aircraft engine, don't forget to subscribe to rotax-owner.com. Fly safe and we'll see you next time.